Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see SC200 Microsoft Security Operation Analyst Lab 1. In this video, we will explore Microsoft 365 Defender and I'll show you how to obtain your Microsoft 365 credentials. If you have seen my previous videos, in one of the videos I have mentioned to enroll for a trial period from Microsoft website to enable the Microsoft uh, trial subscription and the Microsoft 365 Defender portal as well. So in Microsoft 365 Defender as we all know, we have Microsoft Defender for Office which has uh, email and collaboration, threat policies and there are some preset security policies which provides us the standard protection and strict protection. So standard protection will include anti-phishing, anti-spam, anti-malware, safe attachment and safe links and your uh, strict protection would have group leadership which will also include all the features of standard protection so let's say if you are a security operation analyst working at a company then this is uh, which is implementing microsoft 365 defender you will always start by assigning the preset security policies in eop and endpoint online protection and uh, Microsoft Defender for Office 365. So let me just quickly log on to the Microsoft 365 Defender portal and take it from there. So you do security.microsoft.com and then you are logged on to the portal. On the policies and rules dashboard, you see the section which says threat policies. You have preset security policies. Now under standard protection, you see a baseline prote protection profile that protects against spam, phishing and malware threats. Balanced actions for malicious content, balanced handling for bulk content, attachment and link protection with safe links and safe attachments. A more aggressive, the strict is a more aggressive version. Uh, protection profile for selected users such as high value targets or priority users more aggressive actions on malicious mail trigger tighter controls and more aggressive machine learning so now if i click on manage protection settings your organization settings needs to be updated yes i would like to continue apply exchange online protection so it says add the users groups and domains to protect using exchange online protection capabilities including inbound anti-spam anti-malware and anti-spoofing so you will need to select specific recipients and uh, under domains start writing your tenants domain name and select it so if i just click on next so it's still updating the uh, domain settings let me just pause the video and come back so by the time it is updating as we all know microsoft 365 defender is an integrated threat protection suite with solutions that detect malicious activity across email endpoints application and identity i am specifically uh, checking this option for a exchange online protection but these uh, all solutions that we have discussed Detecting malicious activity across email, endpoints, application and identity. These solutions provide a complete attack chain compromise story that enables a complete understanding of the threat. And it, this, this suite will also enable us to remediate and protect our organization from future attacks. And there are multiple at attack chains that we can look out for. Let me show you the picture. So if you would see here, I have picked up this picture from Microsoft documentation. You see the insider and external threats right so let's say if you are a security operation analyst working at a company that is implementing microsoft 365 defender solutions you need to understand how extended detection and response which is xtr combines signal from endpoints identity email and applications you have defender for office 365 see you have defender for office 365 you have defender for IoT, Azure AD protection, Defender for cloud apps and then these are your external and uh, insider risk. Then you have Defender for cloud, Defender for exploitation will help you exploitation and installation, command and control. You have Defender for identity, 
which is uh, which checks if your user account is compromised or not then you check your domain is compromised or not your exfiltration of data attacker access sensitive data right and then you have insider risk management as well if an insider has access what are the anomalies and uh, activities that can lead to data leakage or potential threats now this is how this uh, xdr your extended detection and response would work let me check again how that preset is going i believe it is still applying those settings it will take time i believe let me pause the video and come back it is taking a lot of time to update my domain settings i believe i'm using the trial version maybe that is the reason it is not applying but if you will start writing your domain and you select it then the tenant's domain name is same that you have for your admin account like mine is uh, on microsoft.com i'll show you give me a second so i've kept my domain name to asar199 dot on microsoft dot com i'll do now it might be something now that now when you will do this this configuration applies for anti spam outbound spam filter anti malware anti phishing now when you will uh, apply these settings for defender for office three sixty five protection section we will have to apply the same configuration now this configuration applies policies for anti phishing safe links. and when you will a uh, policy mode section when you will turn on the policy after you finish settings all the section here when we go to the policy mode and then you will review and under if you want to go under strict protection you will do the same things and apply the specific recipients and what not to uh, to set the configuration which applies for all the uh, all the benefits like anti spam outbound spam filter anti phishing when you will do it you will confirm uh, what you have uh, enabled then all of these settings will apply on to your domain right so i am still uh, pausing the video again and will try to wait for uh, some more time so that i can show you all the options that i just discussed few seconds ago so that you get the basic idea what i'm talking about let me pause the video and come back when it is done well i've tried but i don't think my settings would be upgraded because i am on the trial mode and i'm not getting any error also this is where the issue is but you get the basic idea how you want to do this and what you will achieve from it I hope you liked this video. If you have any further queries, please mention them in the comment section and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Have a good day.